A very warm welcome to all our viewers. Welcome to Chat Time with me, Oinitham. My guest today is one of Assam's popular actor-director, Kenny Basumatari. Kenny has been in the news, of course, because of delivering yet another blockbuster hit, Ki Kwa Dosti. But he has been in the news for something even more special. He shared screen space with none other than Bollywood ka Badsha, Shah Rukh Khan for Shah Rukh's upcoming movie, Jawan. And I am sure all you Kenny fans out there would be really wanting to know about Kenny's experience of sharing screen with Shah Rukh Khan and how was it to meet SRK in person. So let's welcome Kenny to chat time. Let's welcome him to the show and hear about every experience of his with Shah Rukh Khan. Kenny, thank you so much and welcome to chat time. Thank you very and, much, Anitam. And congratulations. Of course, this is not your first Bollywood uh, movie, but I'm sure this has been special because SRK and Jawan. So tell us how it all started. How was your experience meeting SRK in person? First of all, I actually have not seen the film yet, so I don't know how much of me is there. I know it's a okay. very small role and right. I actually, I'm not really going around telling people in public that I've acted with Shah Rukh Khan. But yeah. you get to know, they generally want to know. But yeah. uh, I myself, I'm not dhul bojang so much because if, if when the final film comes out, if it turns out here, yeah, I'm barely seen for half a second, then it will be a mm -hmm. big joke. <laughs> but nonetheless, you know, you've done it. So for us, for people, each one of us from Assam, it's a proud uh, moment for all of us. Yeah, I guess so. And that's the reason I, even though I knew it was a very, very tiny role that Working with Shah Rukh Khan is something you definitely don't say no to, and especially Absolutely. since it's somebody I've looked up to so much mm -hmm. right from my teenage years. I've loved his acting, I've loved his interviews, his personality is extremely witty, mm. his wit, his charm, yes. and charisma. And everything that you you see about him is actually true. I've seen him. In real life also now i've seen him off camera yes and yes his intelligence yeah. is really something to behold the man mm -hmm. is very very intelligent and a thorough gentleman he's a truly remarkable person and i think he deserves his superstar status one yeah. particular incident that comes to mind now is on one of my final days of shooting yeah. he was i was sitting a little behind okay and he was talking to somebody about mm -hmm. the scene in a film and he was okay. narrating the scene and with full acting and expressions and everything and then yeah, say, yeah, and the, one. Mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. thing I noticed was that he didn't use any filler words like mm, uh, uh, ye, okay. uh, nothing yeah everything huh. in a smooth flow he just told the whole thing without mm -hmm. any interruptions without any breaks it just shows how powerful right. the engines of his mind are that he can yeah. <laughs> go from one end yes. to the other without pausing. Right. So, uh, Kenny, you yourself an accomplished actor, director. So, how was your experience, you know, like, uh, how was it to uh, being directed by someone else? Uh, how was it all? I am an actor. I'm a director on a very small scale. The scale that we work You're on being is humble. in... No, no, no. Seriously, the scale that we work on in Assam, it's nothing. Yes. It's nothing yes. compared to the scale True. that they have in the bigger in industries. The, in, yes. Even the Tamil industry, director mm -hmm. Atli, for example. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm also a director. Atli is also a director. But the difference mm. is that my one and only hit film did a business of uh, 1.4 crores. That was local Utpat. Yeah. Whereas Atli the director of Jawan has had three Tamil films that have done over 200 crores. So that's a huge difference yes, in scale. True, true. Yeah. But, but uh, you, me, we are very hopeful that someday Assam film industry is also going to, you know, garner that kind of 
real big numbers that is what i'm sure we all hope for but uh, uh, can you a uh, little bit more about your uh, in person experiences with the cast of jawan because uh, you had dipika padukone there you had sanjay dat and this is a gauri khan production so when you actually uh, got the offer what thoughts crossed your mind and how was it uh, like for you when the call first came to me um the casting person said ke okay, this is a red chilies project and there is going to be a team of four army men mm -hmm. and the director has already seen your previous auditions with us and he likes you for this role and yeah. are you free mm -hmm. and then i thought ke okay, i don't have to audition the director already likes my role this is a red chilies yeah. film with shahrukh khan i thought this whoever is wow. calling me must be a fraud <laughs> Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then I saw that no, no, it can't be a fraud because I already have mm -hmm. her number from before, and she's already talked right. to me about some other project before. So no, it's not a fraud. Okay. Mm. Then uh, I thought it was too good to be true. Obviously, getting offered a Shah Rukh Khan film without even having to yeah, audition. Yeah, without. Yes. Whereas, yes. Yeah, for for Maricom, I had three auditions, three rounds of mm. auditions. For Yara, mm. also two mm. rounds of auditions. Yeah. So even yeah. when. I cast people in my small films. Even then, I also audition very, in very much detail. So, mm. getting offered a role without an audition that with Shah Rukh Khan that seemed like yes. uh, some kind of minor miracle. Yep. So, then a few days later, somebody called from on behalf of Red Chilies. They mm -hmm. talked with me about the money and about the schedule and everything, and they said yeah. that they were actually looking for somebody who lives in Bombay. Okay. And uh, I said that I would be okay with coming and going. Mm -hmm. So that part uh, we worked out. We worked out the monies and stuff, and then uh, finally uh, we were called for shooting. And mm. the day that I landed in Bombay, the day that I went to the Red Chilies office, that was the day yeah. that the first teaser of Jawan came out. Okay. This was on July first, I think, June or July first, twenty twenty two. And yeah. I was sitting in the Red Chilies office when I saw mm. the teaser, and I thought, "Wow, this wow. is yeah. a film I'm going to be part of." <laughs> They had already shot quite a lot of it, and mm -hmm. uh, so we were going to be in the second half of the film. Okay, that was how it was on the first day, and then so uh, the first day of shoot, we were mm. all ready with makeup, and we were mm. called on set, and then we were waiting for Mr. Khan and. Yeah. We waited about one and a half hours, waiting, okay. waiting, and then mm. finally he came, and mm -hmm. he came. There were four of us. He, when he came up to us, he shook hands with all of us and said, "Sorry, I'm late. I got stuck in traffic." Mm. Okay. Okay. So immediately, one is impressed with, is the hero. He is the producer, and he's saying sorry yes. for getting and Bollywood ka superstar. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm. At the Makeup man also said to me later, "Ye admi ek dam alag hai." And uh, throughout, yes. uh, we kept on getting glimpses of his intelligence, of his mm -hmm. gentleman, gentlemanliness, yeah. and uh, mm -hmm. in the true sense, is a superstar. Yeah. So, so before meeting uh, Shahrukh, and while meeting Shahrukh, how was it like? Did you get some goosebumps? Uh, really, you know, I really want to know how does it feel like. Uh, to see him in person and then again act with him we saw him from a distance first when he came and a yeah. uh, chota sa incident happened at the time mm -hmm. some guy who was brought in as a last minute replacement for some other yeah. actor yeah. he quietly took a photo okay. taking photos is absolutely not allowed and on he sent set. it to his girl yeah. Yeah, on set He sent yeah. it to his girlfriend, and he sent it to some WhatsApp group also of his friends. Okay. So the security mm. guys saw him and caught him, mm. and they got him to delete it. And then they told him, "Ke, tu bhi delete kar, apne girlfriend and apne dosto ko bhi bol delete kar. Mm. Or agar kisi ne upload kya, to ham tujhe yeah. to pakarenge hi, aur unko bhi pakarenge." Yeah. <laughs> and then Ouch. they threw him out of the set after that. Oh God. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, so, pretty. 
common sense thing not to take pictures Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, Something very uh, good. Yeah. Yeah. And then after that in the scene, yeah. so remember this is my first day, first time meeting Shah Rukh Khan and acting mm -hmm. with him. And in the scene, we are actually supposed to all go and hug him together. Okay. Wow. So, and when we did it, this was such a, an unbelievable moment. It's our very first mm -hmm. day and here we are hugging Shah Rukh Khan. Yes. And uh, while we are all hugging him, he's supposed to take his cigar and mm. smoke a puff. Okay. And then while, while he was doing it, he said to me, okay, just leave a little space for me to put my hand up here. <laughs> okay. And he said it in such a gentle way. Yeah. No rudeness, no thing. Very polite. Mm. And uh, after that day, my uh, sort of my being a fan of him was reconfirmed on that day. Right. Yes. I the mm. kind of films that he had done in later years, um, mm. Happy New Year and mm. Dilwale. I didn't really care to mm. watch those. Mm -hmm. I really liked uh, films like Swades and Chak De. Those were the kind yeah. of films I think he should have been doing. So I wasn't really bothered about those films. But after meeting him, after working with him, I went back and rewatched some of his earlier films, Bacha, okay. Bazigar, Diwana, yeah. uh, mm. just to get a feel of what it was like when I when I first became a fan of him. Right. Yes. Yes. So, of course, I mean, you had your fan moment, you shared screen. Did you also meet uh, Deepika Padukone or anyone else, like Nayantara, Sanjay Dutt, anyone else? Sanjay Dutt was not there in the same schedule as us. Okay. We, are, we are a very small part of the movie. Right. Uh, Nayantara was there, but we didn't really have any interaction. Okay. Mm -hmm. Deepika was there very far away. And... <clears throat> Uh, Deepika and Shah Rukh have a small, you can see it in the trailer, there's a chota yeah. sa wrestling kind of thing right. where she yeah. throws somebody in the water. Mm -hmm. That choreography mm -hmm. was, while well, the choreography for that was going on, I thought hey, um, the whoever was doing the choreography, they weren't doing it very properly. Yeah. And since I have a little bit of uh, understanding of wrestling and grappling, I thought maybe mm. I should go and tell them hey, how to do it better. Huh. And yeah. I thought, nay, nay, let's not interfere, it's yes, their not. thing, let me not. Yes. <laughs> yes, so the director in you, kahi se ubhar ke aa gaya tha, but aapne usko daba diya. Yeah, you have to know when to shut up, it's not your yes. place. <laughs> true, 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 true. But um, I'm sure you've picked up a few things, you know, Despite you being a director yourself, you being uh, an actor uh, par excellence, you must have definitely picked up few things here and there from so many uh, of the celebs there, the A-listers there. I, I'll tell you one more thing that I observed about Mr. Khan. Yeah. He does his own work quietly. If he has some lines, if he has some dialogue, he'll keep on yes. reading them quietly. No matter mm -hmm. how much Halla Kula is going on around, he just okay. reads his lines quietly. Mm -hmm. And when it comes time to deliver, he doesn't make mistakes. It might be a whole paragraph of dialogue, but he delivers it perfectly pretty much every time. I've right. rarely seen him make a mistake. Maybe two, three times during all our days of shooting. Two, three times yeah. he might have uh, needed a retake, but otherwise mm -hmm. he's always been flawless. And he also maintains continuity. Continuity yeah. is, uh, if you are saying something here mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. after two, three lines you sit up and then you look this way mm -hmm. while saying that line and then you look that way while saying that line. So he maintains all these things also in every take that's done. Yeah. His, yeah. Uh, his memory is very sharp that way. Even after all these years, he's always very, very sincere about these things. There are some other actors, big actors mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. absolutely cannot remember their dialogue or don't bother learning their dialogue. Yeah. So yes. I've heard that one of the big stars, he needs somebody to write the dialogue on a board and mm -hmm. hold it behind the camera or on the side mm -hmm. of the camera so that he can read the yeah. dialogue. He can't learn them. <laughs> but mm -hmm. Shah Rukh Khan is the complete opposite of that. He knows everything and is ready. Mm. Yeah. 
so uh, lovely lovely experience for you uh, did you also get some time to spend with him you know during breaks or something where uh, you could uh, do some catching up do some chit chats with him not really okay. uh, like i said so, the big stars all have their own little bubble of people around them yeah and yeah uh only when we are shooting a scene mm -hmm. when let's say we are all supposed to be together say beside the truck yeah. where the scene yeah. is happening uh, it's only at that point where if you want you can try to mm. talk about something but usually at that time it's best not to chit chat because right. you need to focus on what you're about to do yes. you need to focus on your dialogue you need to focus on the action that's going to happen mm -hmm. so chit chatting is a bit of a rarity uh, and also the other thing is the intimidation factor is such a big star he already knows yeah. everything and what possibly can i say to him that he hasn't heard 20000 yes. times already yes. so that's also so true. so true yes if i say so to nice. him sir i'm a very 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 big fan but <laughs> one say yeah it's like 200 crore people also will have said the same thing <laughs> So that's also yeah. there. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so, um, tell us a little bit about your role, or do you want us to go and uh, watch it for ourselves in the theaters? It's a very small role. I don't know how much of it is going to be there. All I know is that I, I have one line of dialogue actually, mm -hmm. and I don't know okay. if it's there or not in the final cut. It might not be there. All But right. I got yes. to do. Yes. I got yes. to do two pieces of action, mm -hmm. small bits, chota sa action. Yeah. If yeah. those are there, I'll be happy. That's all I want to have done. Great. A little bit of action Great. in a Shahrukh Khan film. Yeah, of course, means a lot. In fact, so now coming back to your um, uh, your movies, all your production, your body of work. so starting from local kung fu to kikwa dosti and also i believe you wrote a novel as well uh, chocolate guitar momos that was around 2011 or something like that but we will talk about your writing uh, skills later we'll come to your novels because i really would want to know if you are writing something right now but about your movies you know you have uh, kind of come up with your own genre you your style of uh, humor the content that you have it's very unique which we do not see at least not in asmi's films so how did you come about this new style uh, the humor the uh, dialogues it's very very local it has a lot of local flavor so was it a conscious decision on your part it wasn't really a conscious decision all artists are a byproduct of all the art that they themselves have imbibed in their lives so all the comedy that i have watched that i have read mm. it's all that that has become remixed in my head and then turned up and then it comes out in my films the way they are so as a child i read a lot of tintin comics asterix uh -huh. yeah. yes tinkel in rajal mm. comics and mm -hmm. red jewel house a lot phantom also mm. of course yeah. yeah so i loved all these comics and all these books and after growing up uh, books like bridget jones's diary yeah i i bought the books two three times and gifted them also okay. so and all the comedy that i've watched from Chaplin mm. to Jackie mm. Chan, Laurel and mm -hmm. Hardy to right. modern sitcoms like Friends. Yeah. So all these things come together plus mm. the incidents that happen to us the and the incidents that friends go through the sure. kissas that friends tell us all these mm. things they come together and they get mm. put in the mixy the blender of the brain yeah. and then yes. then they come out in the form and of then, yes and then we have a kenny basupantari production which always clicks especially with the youngsters they are like crazy about your movies and you know 
Yeah, there's this saying, I'm sure you've heard it so many times, that your films are like laughter riot, which of course films should be. And in one of your interviews, you've said that films should uh, be entertaining. It's meant to entertain, meant entertain people. So you've, you know, uh, you are also known for starting something like crowdfunding for your films. So over the years, do you feel that Asimis film has come a long way? Of course, recently we did uh, have a few real blockbuster box office uh, uh, hits like uh, Sri Raghupati. Very recently before that we had Ratnakar. Prior to that we had Kanchanjanga. So do you think as a filmmaker yourself and a very intense one at that, do you think the Asimis film industry has come a long way? In a sense, um, I guess the glory days are coming back. Yeah. When films used to be used to run a long, long time, mm -hmm. and the complaint that people, some people have that Ahomia people, Ahomia cinema nasai. I don't think that's really the case because if the package, if the content is attractive to them, then they do watch it. As sure. Mission China, Rotta Kaur, Kansan Jonga, and now yes. Prabhu Pati have shown, yeah. people will watch the film if they like it. So mm -hmm. there's, in fact, Prabhu Pati has beaten everything. Prabhu Pati has beaten Hollywood, Bollywood. Yeah. Adi Burush had, <laughs> Adi True. Burush yeah. released just one week afterwards, and on yes. one day, Adi Burush shows were reduced and Prabhu Pati shows were increased again. Mm -hmm. So if a film is good, then it will work no matter what the opposition right. is. Right, right, yes. Uh, so, a uh, little bit about your uh, novels and all. So, after uh, Chocolate Guitar Momos, anything that uh, you've worked on or you're working on? I had started writing one, but the thing okay. is, uh, in India, unless you're a very big star like Chetan Bhagat or mm. Ashwin mm. Sanghi or mm. Sanghi, it's the yeah. money from novels is not that much and especially True. since people read very little nowadays it's yes. even the sales are so low nowadays that the profit you can make from writing a book is quite low True. in fact from the actual sales of my book the amount of money mm -hmm. that i made i probably would earn that much from directing three episodes of a tv show in bombay so right. and that yes. takes what nine days 12 days compared to the effort of about one year in writing a book. Yeah. So yes. that's nine, ten days of cost of versus one year of cost of the profit. <laughs> the profit to effort ratio is vastly different. The only right. thing was that actually the uh, the major profit I made was when the film was bought by a, the script was bought by mm. a big production house, the rights for the book actually. Right. A big production okay. house had optioned it mm -hmm. for five years and the money oh. that they paid, that was more than the actual uh, sales mm -hmm. royalties mm -hmm. of the book. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and that was the only one I've done. And after yeah. that, I haven't written anything since. And yeah. the amount of hard work it takes to write a book, it's much yes. more than even writing a script. So, I haven't mm -hmm. done one since. A long, long time. Yeah. And also because uh, you must have been really busy with your uh, film productions. Yeah, that's also true. Because after local kung fu happened, I yeah. got TV directing work, and mm -hmm. I also made a couple of short films for children's short films for school cinema. After okay. that, local kung fu two happened. Then it's right. Boro, and uh, yes. one after another, things have been happening. So in that way, it's right. been decent. And enough. then. Yeah, plus your Bollywood movies also have been happening on and off. So a lot of, uh, lot on your plate actually over the years. And another thing Kenny, which is very unique about your films is that you usually don't cast uh, popular faces. In fact, I, I think if I'm correct, uh, uh, Lima Das uh, for your Kikwa Dosti is the only known face that you had cast this time. Prior to that, I don't think. So all these things, is it to give people a fresh uh, look and flavor? Is that why you do all of these things? The actual reason is that we usually can't afford big stars. Okay. 
and even if we can afford them it would probably be difficult to get their dates and right. also the it's also a question of comfort level mm. but uh, mm. the popular actors that i worked with were on tumara mm. pekhya that was a series okay. i did for real drama it's oh, a yes. romantic comedy yeah. yeah whoever has seen it has uh, loved it and i loved also myself I, yeah. it's kind of comfort viewing even for me there are some scenes that i really like to go back to again and again so that okay. has lima and me as a couple oh. and then there's yeah. bonzo and punam as another couple okay. shunjan bhardwaj and munmi phukon as another couple mm-hmm. and anupam koshit bora and alishmita goswami so that was the time that i cast some popular actors and we managed mm-hmm. to pull it off because we didn't need yeah. too many dates of each of them so right. that that was one where we had fun okay yeah so so you um, uh, personally what do you like watching or listening to i watch pretty much all kinds of films mm mm this and pretty much everything yeah and okay. the my only criteria criterion is that it should be mm-hmm. engaging right. it doesn't have yeah. to be entertaining but it mm-hmm. should be engaging i should yes. be engrossed in the story and want to know what happens next right so, so that's the only criterion right so now what's next uh, what can we expect from you next next will be local kung fu 3 coming okay. next year on teachers day oh wow okay we are currently in the process of uh, fight rehearsals and right. scripting Mm-hmm. and we will have the same characters as local kung fu 1 so bonzo dulu tansen sali all these people yeah. will be back Sorry. in local kung fu 3 on teachers day yeah wow and I, we've also finished my first serious film mm-hmm. this is uh, the film's name is jia it was written by swamista chakraborty who was yeah. one of the heroes in local kung fu 2 Yes. It's the story of a single mother and the discriminations she faces in society, mm-hmm. and then a new man comes into her life, and whether things work out between them or not. So it's a very yeah. nice little romantic drama, actually. Okay. We've started sending it to festivals, so let's see what happens with it. All right. Okay. So a lot again coming from your uh, own movies and all. So thank you so much, and looking forward to. all the other things that you are going to offer us thank yeah. you wishing you the best and thank you thank you thank you and thank you viewers for watching keep watching not this live do follow us find us on facebook twitter instagram and youtube till we meet again it's a goodbye from the entire team of not this live thank you goodbye